days. We know at least 33 states and Puerto Rico now reporting rising case totals, tracking our tally of the latest coronavirus numbers from Johns Hopkins University. Here they are, more than 35.1 million confirmed cases of coronavirus around the world now. The president and first lady just two of the more than 7.4 million diagnosed cases here in the U.S. More than 209,000 American lives lost mm. since this pandemic first struck earlier this year. And Doc, we're seeing a growing number of people in the president's circle who have right. tested positive. This is happening over the weekend. So they're trying to figure out still where this came from, where it started, this contact tracing. So now more emphasis is being put on that. So remind us just how this is a scientific process uh, and detective work. Really. Absolutely medical detective work. And we have to go by what the CDC recommendations are now. If you've been exposed to a confirmed case of COVID-19, these recommendations are under the contact tracing webpage. First of all, what's the definition? A close contact is within six feet for at least 15 minutes of time. Now, here's the complicated part. Starting two days before the confirmed case developed symptoms, or if they don't have symptoms, two days before the person who just tested for positive sent off the specimen. So the CDC is recommending, we heard Dr. Robert Redfield say this, if you're exposed, get tested. The question, of course, when? This is the important part, you guys, and I cannot emphasize this enough. You cannot test your way out of a 14-day quarantine mm. window. Even if you get 14 negative tests, the recommendations are wow. if you have been exposed to that person within that 48-hour window, you need to quarantine for 14 so days. So no matter what, you have to quarantine, but you mentioned the when you should get tested. If you were exposed to someone who is confirmed positive, when should you get well, a test? Well, we're hearing the quandary from the president's fundraiser in New Jersey. We're also seeing this play out in our everyday lives. People exposed, they find out they want to rush to get a test. If you go too soon, you have an extremely mm. high chance of getting a false negative. So we know average incubation is five days. I asked Dr. Fauci, he said, Good time to get tested, day three, day four, day five. If you wait until the seven to 10 day range, you'll get about 90% of those people who will test positive, but I cannot emphasize it enough. A negative test does not mean you do right. not have to quarantine. And it's not a quick answer, even if nope. you initially get a negative test. Correct. All right, Dr. Jen, thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.